Hi everyone, my name is Gabe Crisologo, Applications Engineer here at Hawkward Systems. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the SolidWorks Design Checker. It's a tool that's available in SolidWorks Professional and Premium, and it can be used to verify that a SolidWorks document, be it a drawing, part, or assembly file, meets predefined criteria. So these types of criteria can be dimensioning standards, font type and size, and materials, uh, just to name a few. So the design checker can save you a lot of time by automating drafting review and reducing errors on your prints. So the tool can be activated under Tools, Design Checker, and you'll see that we have some different options here. Check Active Document, Check Against Existing File, Build Checks, and the Learn Checks Wizard. So we'll select Check the Active Document, and we can choose to compare our drawing to a set of standards that we have here. So these are a list of the built-in standards uh, in SolidWorks. You can even build your own and save them as a custom standard, which I did. So I can go ahead and browse for that here. And we'll load our custom standard. And then we can check document. Notice that we have the option to check against an existing file here, which was the second option in that list. We'll just go ahead and select check document. So the design checker evaluates the document based on your custom standard or whatever standard you select. And depending on the pass and failed checks, the results will appear in this list. So you can see here that we have a list of failed checks. And if we expand these, it'll show what the issues are with your drawing. So you can see here that the actual value is set to ISO standard on this drawing we can correct it to follow the preferred ANSI. And this example here is the document's arrow styles. So it doesn't meet the standard that we want. We can go ahead and autocorrect that one as well. So we can go through this list here and check out all the failed checks to see exactly what they are. Or we can click on autocorrect all and it'll fix our drawing here for us here and then it'll let us know that our document now meets our standard. So the check against existing file option is the second one here on this list. What that allows you to do is validate the active document against checks created from an existing file. So when I select this option here, it would have us browse for a uh, file and then it pretty much would run the build checks tool in the background for you. It'll open up that file that you browse for, open up the build checks module, and then it'll check your active document against those new set of checks. So while we're talking about the build checks, let's go ahead and see what that does. So the build checks tool allows you to create that standards file. So that custom one that I used to check the document, you can create one here to meet your needs. So you can see we have a bunch of different tabs and options that we can set here. For example, your units, custom properties, arrow styles, dimensioning standards. So you can configure any of these options and settings here and then save this out. When you save this out, this is the standards file that gets saved and you're pretty much checking your document against all these options that you have selected here and that's how the design checker works. So the last one in this list is the learn checks wizard. So the learn checks wizard is very similar to the check against existing file option since it retrieves design checks based on attributes from an existing SOLIDWORKS file. So say you have this um, document that you have for example a drawing and you went through and you configured all the document properties and all the annotations to how you wanted it, you can go ahead and use this learn checks wizard to build a checks file from as well. It's very similar to the check against existing file. So in this video we saw an overview of the SOLIDWORKS design checker tool and how it can be used to quickly verify that your document meets a set of standards that you define. Thank you for watching.